hi guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support and thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me it is truly appreciated okay so as you guys can tell by the title of this video, this video is going to be about the person on your mind. How do they feel about you? So pound number one, you're going to be the tree at gate, heart shaped crystal. Pound number two, you're going to be the red jasper heart shaped crystal. And pile number three, you're going to be the black obsidian heart shaped crystal. So, again, pile number one, tree agate heart shaped crystal. Pile number two, red jasper heart shaped crystal. And pile number three, black obsidian heart shape crystal. So pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the crystal that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi Pawan! Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number one, you picked the tree agate heart shaped crystal and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, oh, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pal number one, the person on your mind, how do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? We have soulmate, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. So this person... The person on your mind feels like you guys are soulmates, okay? They feel like there is, there's definitely a connection here, a soul connection. So, twin flame, um, yeah, soulmate contract, but I'm getting like mostly like soulmate, okay? If you believe this person's your twin flame, then that could resonate with you too, but I'm getting like more on the soulmate. So the person on your mind, wow. Okay, wow. Oh my gosh. This person thinks highly of you because we have the Empress. That's the first card that came out, guys. This person thinks highly of you. We have the Six of Swords. Hmm, Six of Swords is speaking of moving to calmer waters, moving away from toxicity, a mindset. Maybe you guys had an argument recently or something like that a, a couple of weeks ago and this person feels like yeah they want to let bygones be bygones they want to make amends with you they feel like a song a, a strong connection with you so they don't want to let you go they really see you as the empress they feel like you are the empress you are very beautiful you are creative you are extremely talented yeah this person definitely puts you on a pedestal the person on your mind how do they feel about you we have the queen of pentacles guys very nurturing stable reliable dependable trustworthy that's how they feel about you i'm telling you this person thinks really highly of you my pal number one. Oh my gosh i like this energy for you yeah, this person feels like you are somebody who is stable somebody that you can build something solid with with the queen of pentacles the person on your mind, how do they feel about you? We have the Eight of Cups. Okay, so they kind of feel like you could be emotionally withdrawn or 
distance from them with the eight of cups that's how they feel about you because i feel like i said you guys could have had like an argument recently like i said a couple of weeks ago maybe two weeks ago or something like that or three weeks ago and maybe you guys have not spoken to each other um ever since the argument or something like that and they kind of feel like you are withdrawn with the eight of cups or you're emotionally distant from them and they're kind of worried because i feel like this person is kind of anxious to hear from you but they could be a little bit prideful so they may not call you or they may not show it that they miss you but i feel like this person misses you a lot they feel a strong urge to come towards you they feel like it's um not over between the two of you if you guys are uh, in no contact situation the person on your mind yeah ace of swords the truth yeah they want some sort of communication with you they want to talk to you they want to express themselves to you they want to express like how they truly feel about you because i feel like this person has not told you how much you mean to them how they truly feel the person on your mind how do they feel about you yes we have the king of wands they feel like you're somebody who's extremely confident in who you are you're extremely creative they love that about you you're assertive you get a lot of attention this person watches you on social media a lot the person on your mind how do they feel about you the person on your mind yeah didn't i say they watch you a lot page of swords they definitely study you we have the queen of wands yeah like there is distance between the two of you because the page of swords is in between the queen of wands and the king of wands so both of you could be fire sign or have fire in your chart or just embody fire energy don't have to be a fire sign to embody fire energy it could be like your placements in your chart that could like um cultivate that energy as well but we also have the seven of wands yeah like i feel like you're guarded or because of the argument that you guys had the disagreement could be the reason why you are like you know a little bit guarded against this person towards this person but with the queen of wands they feel like you guys are a match made in heaven because both of you guys are confident in your skills your abilities to get things done you're powerful okay you like yeah, i'm really getting like an assertive energy that this person really likes about you um this person feels like you have options as well in love yeah we have the six of pentacles they feel like you're a very generous individual you give a lot of your time your energy your resources i heard playful yeah with the queen of wands you know how you're very flirtatious that's how they feel about you very sensual attractive the person on your mind how do they feel about you how do they feel about you oh yes we have the high priestess they feel like you're highly intuitive yeah like you guys have some sort of communication um between the two of you is a spiritual union that's how they feel with the high priestess like there is a spiritual union here that's why we have like the soulmate card that's why this person is so drawn to you they can't seem to get get you out of their mind they think about you all the time this is what i'm getting here 24 7 guys like the more more than you know you may think about this person as well but not as much as they think about you so you could be like you know doing other things to get your mind occupied or get your mind off this person and then do your own thing but this person like even if they try to occupy their mind with other things you still come back into their mind like you still are the main thing that they think about like when they wake up they think about you when they go to bed they think about you when they have free time they think about you it's like there is a little bit of an obsession here even though the devil's not here but i'm gonna, like this person's a little bit obsessed with you we have the judgment card yeah this person feels like you may have judged them harshly based on like the last interaction that you guys had they're kind of worried that you're really distancing yourself from them yeah we have the cherry like you walking away or moving away yeah you um becoming the queen of swords establishing like very strict boundaries with this person and not entertaining them some of you like i said you could be in no contact with this person but they're still very drawn to you they feel like you guys are a match like they definitely view you as the empress queen of wands king of wands we have like like i said a match made in heaven queen of pentacles dependable they're definitely watching you spying on you with the page of swords like even if you're not in like i said they're not in contact with this person they have a means to watch you okay maybe you don't have them on social media but they are step, definitely spying on you on social media okay the person on your mind how do they feel about you yeah the seven of the seven of cups like you have options you're exploring this person feels like you're exploring your other options that's why they feel like with the eight of cups like you're emotionally withdrawn from them because i feel like the, it, this is a no contact situation guys i feel like you guys are not 
even if you guys are in communication it's minimal like you're not responding as much as you used to before you're not as engaged you're not as you know like interactive with this person you're just keeping it to a minimal because of the fact that you guys may have had an argument and maybe you're distancing yourself from this person or energetically you could be distancing yourself from this person and they could feel it the person on your mind how do they feel about you yeah five of swords they feel like you're angry with them with the five of swords yeah they feel like you're angry like you're still upset about the situation that happened or the words that were said how they behave towards you there's something that is like they feel like you're irritated i heard vex yeah the person on your mind how do they feel about you how do they feel about you we have the seven of pentacles yeah like I'm getting like they feel like you're being cautious with them because we have the seven of wands and now we have the seven of pentacles because seven of pentacles is a slow and steady energy it's also like investment dedication but it's also about being cautious like you don't want to rush the process and the seven of wands speaks of like standing your ground um boundaries establishing and reinforcing your boundaries and that's how this person feels like you're reinforcing your boundaries with them you're you're like putting a stop to a certain behavior maybe they're doing something that you don't like and maybe you've told them more than once and now you're just fed up and then you just put a boundary down where you're like i'm not doing this with you anymore i'm not dealing with you anymore and this person is now a little i feel like this is anxiety coming from this person like eight of swords energy even though it's not here but i could sense it that this person's a little bit anxious because of the fact that you are they could sense that you are upset and that you're not budging like you're not playing games with this person like you're not doing this whatever it is that they did or said you're not tolerating that and you're putting your foot down and you're you're not budging on that if they want to be in your life they know that they're gonna have to come correct or else you're gonna keep keep it moving they know that the person on your mind how do they feel yeah Four of wands they feel like you are very balanced individual with the four of wands you definitely feel like soulmate because the four of wands is soulmate energy you're very successful you are extremely abundant they know that that you are you are the four of wands by yourself like you don't need this person in order to be complete you are complete you're the full package you are coming up as the empress so you're the full package whether you are a woman or a man you're coming up as the empress and this person knows that that you are definitely one of a kind okay that there isn't going to be a duplicate like they're not gonna find another one like you so they better act correct they know that okay that's how they feel about you the person didn't I say guys I cannot make it up didn't I say eight of swords didn't I tell you guys this person's in the eight of swords I can't make it up I sensed it this person's anxious they're worried they're having sleepless night they think about you all the time i'm telling you eight of swords is repetitive thoughts reoccurring thoughts excessive thoughts like you know like that's like the card of anxiety eight of swords nine of swords nine of swords is like anxiety to the extreme where you can't sleep this person can't sleep but they still manage okay like Maybe they smoke before they go to bed or maybe they have like a drink or a shot or two just to ease their mind so that way they could go to bed. Some of you, this person could drink chamomile tea before they go to bed to calm their mind so that way they could ease their way to sleep because they can't, they can't stop thinking about you with the eight of swords. But I feel like for a lot of you, this person smokes or drinks, like especially if they're a smoker, if they smoke weed, oh my gosh, this person's like smoking blunts, okay, <laughs> before they go to bed because they can't sleep they can't stop thinking about you and especially if you send this person pictures of you like that you've never posted online but you send it to them directly they are watching those pictures before they go to bed and that makes them even more anxious <laughs> when they do that <laughs> so the person on your mind how do they feel about you how do they feel about you yeah hermit like you're in hermit mode that's why i feel like you guys are in no contact yeah virgo energy yeah seven of wands blockage defensive like you may have blocked this person as well guys i feel like some of you may have blocked this person oh they're tripping guys oh my gosh well i don't know like i feel like like if you block them you have your reasons to block this person because i feel like this person kind of like i feel like they kind of know they deserved it because they may have pushed your buttons or done something that made you be in that energy because you wouldn't just be in that energy out of nowhere they had to had done something to you for you to 
put your boundaries up okay and this is what i'm getting here right now they're just you know dealing with the consequences of their actions and i feel like you're standing your ground you're like no like this is how i said i want to be treated and you're not coming correct so because you're not coming correct i have no choice but to put my boundaries up because i love myself i respect myself and i know i'm deserving and this person is like you know they're learning the hard way the person on your mind how do they feel about you yeah we have children your love life is being affected by children so maybe you have children or a child or this person has children maybe like you're very busy you know if you're a single parent maybe you're very busy or maybe this person is a single parent and they're very busy or they could have been immature in the situation as well the person on your mind we have flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others they feel like you're flirting with other people i'm telling you this person feels like you have options we have the seven of cups here yeah they feel like you have options that you're flirting with other people because i i feel like maybe you guys had disagreement before in the past that's why i feel like you know this person has done this before to you and you finally had enough and now this person feels like oh my god like pile number one is serious like they're not gonna take my bs anymore and maybe you've given them chance after chance after chance and they still did the same thing over and over and over again and you got tired of it and you're just like you know what i'm done and we have expressed your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture yeah i feel like this person never expressed their love to you but like they feel like they want to do that now now that you're like walking away it's like why are you waiting last minute <sighs> okay let's continue <laughs> the person on your mind how do they feel about you just one card please yeah getting to know each other as you as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so this person wants to get to know you more that's how they feel about you like they feel like if they were to express themselves more like they express their love to you and get to know you more your bond will deepen because i feel like this could be like a, a newer person like less than six months that you know them okay this is what i'm getting here but this person yeah this person is just like maybe they were testing you to see like if you really stand on on what you said about yourself and it's like why are you testing people like nobody had time for that but anyways that's this what that's what this person did and now they're <laughs> they kind of like regret what they were doing like what they did to you how they came at you because like now they're seeing that yo pal number one is not playing like you're leaving this person out in the cold if like because the eight of cups is here like emotionally you're already withdrew from them it's like eventually everything is going to follow like you're actually going to be done like energetically you're dis you're distancing yourself from them and you're detaching from them and they could sense that okay so that's all i have for you my pal number one i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number one Bye. Hi, Pal2. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So, my pal number two, you picked the red jasper crystal, and this is going to be your reading, okay? So, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pal number two, the person on your mind, how do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? The person on your mind. How do they feel about you? Let's see. What do we have? Palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. Okay, so this person feels like they could build something stable with you that you are definitely worth investing in. That's how they feel about you. person on your mind how do they feel about you how do they feel about you 
Oh, we have the King of Swords. They feel like you're very stoic, very in highly intelligent with the King of Swords. That's what I'm getting here. Um, you're hard to read with the King of Swords. That's how they feel about you. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Okay, we have, ooh, they feel like you might not be interested in them. We have the world card as well. Like a cycle is over. Yeah, they're worried with the Eight of Swords. This person's worried. You feel like you're not interested with the Four of Cups. You feel like, they feel like you think they're boring or they don't have much to offer. I feel like because of the fact that you're stoic, so it's kind of, you're kind of hard to read because being stoic is like, it doesn't mean that you're cold or like you're, you're mean or you're nasty or anything like that. It's more about like not showing emotions. Okay. Having a poker face, uh, being able to like not mask your emotions or anything like that. It's more about like, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like control your emotions, not like, you know, because the King of Swords makes head over hard decisions. He doesn't like, you know, he doesn't like, um, he's more logical. That's the word I'm looking for. He's more logical. So you have a more logical approach when it comes to relationship and when it comes to love. Yes, you are emotional, but you use your heart less when it comes to making a decision. It's more about your mind, like if it makes sense to you. And this person, because you're so stoic and you're not really emotional like that, not that you don't have emotions, like you're very, I feel like you're very deep, my pal, number two. However, you make like decision based on what makes sense to you and you're using your experiences from the past to make informative decisions with the king of swords you're not going to be more emotional when you make a decision it's like does it make sense is it going to help me get to where i want to be does it like help me grow like that's how you think about any decision that you make and if the answer is no you just cut it off and some people they may not be able to do things like that because they let their emotions get in the way of like their like cloud their judgment while you don't while this person with the four of cups they feel like you don't you're not interested that's how they feel with the eight of swords maybe you're very busy with work because i'm getting like stability security so you may work a lot and this person wants more of your time and they're not getting it the person on your mind how do they feel yeah we have the knight of swords yeah they they want to move in quickly they want to like maybe this person is used to not like fast-paced relationships but like progressing a little bit faster than you do maybe you're more on the slower side maybe you like i feel like you're cautious and that's the reason why you're not you know showing too much emotions at first because you want to make sure this is the right person for you the person on your mind how do they feel about you yeah eight of pentacles very hard working individual dedicated trustworthy okay with the eight of pentacles very skilled at what you do you have amazing work ethics because i feel like you work a lot my pal number two you may have capricorn in your chart anywhere in your chart i feel like maybe you have capricorn moon so you're more on the cautious side you're you're more about dedication working really hard st st um, like stability stabilizing yourself in your career this is what I'm getting here. This is how this person feels about you. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? How do they feel? Yeah, we have the Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady energy. Didn't I say I'm telling you? This person feels like you're very cautious with the Knight of Pentacles because the Knight of Pentacles is that slow and steady energy. But once the Knight of Pentacles makes up his mind, he's the only, like the most reliable knight out of all the knights, okay? He has the most potential of like leveling up to becoming a king. The other knights, it's not that they don't have it, but they may need more work than the Knight of Pentacles because the Knight of Pentacles is more dedicated, but he's slow to make moves or to make commitments. He's very cautious. He likes to, to like get the finer details before he makes a final decision. So that's what I'm getting here. That's how this person feels about you. Like, you know, maybe like there's definitely that disinterested energy here. The person on your mind how do they feel about you yeah we have the ace of wands they feel like you're very attractive extremely creative charismatic okay there's this 
that energy about you that this person's very drawn to the person on your mind how do they feel about you how do they feel about you yes i'm telling you this person's in love with you ace of cups yeah they have a lot of feelings for you and we have the nine of pentacles yeah self-sufficient independent living a life of luxury high maintenance this person kind of feels like because you're you coming off as being disinterested that they may you may be out of their league like they may feel like oh my god okay maybe pile number two doesn't want me because i don't have the same thing that they have because this person with the nine of pentacles they definitely view you as somebody who has have it all somebody who has all their ish together that has their money up their career they're established okay independent self-sufficient okay definitely independent energy that's how they feel about you so they may feel like okay well how am i going to be in this person's life how can i bring value to this person when they have everything okay the person on your mind how do they feel about you yeah we have the two of swords you're disinterested uh, the two of swords is being indifferent or disinterested or not making a decision that's how they feel guys this person really feels like you know you're not you don't want them because you're not spending a lot of time with them the person on your mind how do they feel about you the person on your mind how do they feel about you oh yeah four of pentacles yeah reserved guarded yeah a lot of guarded energy here coming like how this person feels that's how they view you that doesn't necessarily mean that's how you are but that's how they feel though like you're very guarded you're cautious yeah like and you could be because it could this could be like a newer relationship because i'm getting like even for pile number one it was like a newer energy it's not like an old person a past person it's more like a newer energy for some of you it could be a past person but i feel like for a lot of you it's a newer person uh, you may have recently met or it's been like a couple of months now there's a card that fell on the floor sorry about that guys there's a card that fell on the floor i'm gonna pick it up okay so we have the king of cups okay they feel like you're very emotionally mature okay emotionally balanced okay that's how they feel about you with the king of cups they're very drawn to you the person on your mind we have the king of wands yeah very attractive assertive very like okay so whether you are a woman or a man you're definitely in the masculine energy you're more assertive that's why we have stability because stability is more of a masculine energy security and all that good jazz that's more of a masculine trait because the masculine is supposed to be the one that brings security to the feminine and the feminine is supposed to grow whatever you give a woman or a feminine energy she's supposed to or he's supposed to multiply that make it grow that's the that's the energy that's the yin and yang like you can't have the same like um characteristic for both um like energies it has to complement each other but right now i feel like you're more in your masculine energy where you know masculine energy is less likely to be emotional not that masculine energy is not emotional but they're less likely to make decisions based on the emotion it's more logic okay and this is what i'm getting here maybe you're more in tune with your masculine energy or you're more like right now in this moment you're more in your masculine energy because maybe you want to build some sort of security for yourself or your career is your priority right now so not that this person is not a priority to you but that's how they feel guys that's what i'm getting here the person on your mind how do they feel yeah ten of pentacles like you're working on your money but they also this is also talking about stability ten of pentacles it's security it, it is like a flexibility also because when you are financially stable you're able to do more things without having to worry about how you're going to make money and this is what i feel like you're in your main focus is right now and this is why this person feels like you don't need them or you're not interested in them or maybe they don't have a lot of things going on for themselves i don't know like that's how this person feels oh we have the devil they feel like you're a workaholic and then i say capricorn energy guys i can't make it up i did call out capricorn energy didn't i say earlier that you may have capricorn in your chart yeah because i'm sensing that and we are in capricorn season so maybe like yeah i feel like this person because of the fact that you're very focused on your your stability they feel like you're you're not interested i keep saying that guys because that's what i'm getting the person on your mind how do they feel about you 
yeah five of swords okay so they don't want to they don't want to rock the boat they don't want to get you annoyed with the five of swords yeah we have the lovers they feel like you're a soulmate okay um they are becoming a little bit obsessed with you as well with the devil energy and they're afraid that it might push you away so they want to kind of like back up a little bit and that'll allow you space the person on your mind how do they feel about you how do they feel yeah romantic feelings i'm telling you they have feelings for you your feelings are real and worth exploring yeah this person has like deep romantic feelings for you the person on your mind how do they feel about you how do they feel about you oh we have released your ex the time has come to clear your energy hmm maybe they feel like you have someone else from the past that you're still like you know maybe letting go of maybe that's why they feel like you know you're not interested or you're preoccupied i feel like this person feels like you are pre preoccupied with someone else or something else but i feel like for most of you it's mostly about your finances but some of you this person might be scared that you're still entertaining an ex we release your ex the person on your mind how do they feel yeah forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you are experiencing more love in your present moment yeah maybe like mm, yeah i feel like this person thinks that you're cautious about something that happened in the past that's why you're not opening up to them or that you're yeah the cautious energy they feel like it's because of something that happened to you in the past and that's the reason why you're just so focused on your coins instead of like allowing this person to come towards you or opening up to them because they feel like you're not opening up it's their perception guys that doesn't necessarily mean it's the truth but that's how they feel currently because of like how um the relationship is progressing like i said this person could be used to going a little bit faster than how you are going right now with the knight of pentacles where you're taking your time to analyze the situation and making sure that this is the right thing that you want to do and i feel like maybe some of you are actually releasing an ex and you are learning to forgive the past and release and, and heal from it because you want to experience more love and maybe you don't want to put this person in the middle of this the person on your mind how do they feel about you just one card okay we have past life relationship i'm not being called to take it in reverse because initially it wanted to come out in a and when he wanted to come out it came out upright so you have you have known each other before so this person definitely feels like a past life connection because we do have the lovers here and like i said i was not being called to take it in reverse that's how they feel about you they're very drawn to you they feel like they've known you before that's why they don't want to give up on this connection or they don't want to like just call it quits just because of like this minor i feel like this is like a misunderstanding if there was like if this person were to tell you exactly how they felt I feel like you would like reassure them to let them know that yeah you're interested but because this person does not want to rock the boat with the five of swords they may be just cautious and then just like trying to see how it's going to flow and take their time with you and allow you space to grow okay so that's all I have for you my pal number two I hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number two bye hi pal three welcome to my channel this is stella beauty tarot back at you again with another video so my pal number three you picked the black obsidian heart shaped crystal and this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pal number three, the person on your mind, how do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? Is 
we have the Phoenix. Um, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. Hmm. So you guys in no contact? Because it says rekindle, changed mind, renew, transformation, growth, new phase. Yeah, I feel like some of you are in no contact with this person. Mm -hmm. I'm getting no contact, guys. Or if it's not a no contact, this is somebody who wants to take the relationship to the next level. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? We have the Ace of Wands, okay? So this is exciting energy, this is passion, but we also have the Eight of Swords. This is worry, anxiety. These two energies is like contradiction, okay? They contradict each other because Ace of Wands is all about positivity, excitement, uh, you know, sensuality, um, you know, passion. And then the Eight of Swords is all about depression. It's about anxiety. So it's like not the same energy. So maybe this person is kind of like nervous about, you know, rekindling, especially if it's like you guys are in no contact. And then if you are moving to the next level of a relationship, if you guys are like, you know, together, then it could also be the fact that this person's kind of like worried about like making it to the next level with you or you know a new phase in this connection like it could be like you know moving in together uh, proposing okay if it's a masculine proposing to you or like you know just like making it official if you guys are just dating and then you know this person wants to make it official with you but they're kind of worried about that as well they're anxious the person on your mind how do they feel about you Ooh, we have the Knight of Swords and we also have the King of Swords. Mm -mm. And these cards came out for pile number two as well, but not in that order though. So I know it's not the same energy. It's just, it's just the same cards, but the different energy because the order of when and which they came out. So that could be the reason why, like this person is making a logical decision when it comes to you, but they want to do it very quickly out of fear of losing you. Because if it's like a rekindle energy, because I feel like for a lot of you, it could be, I feel like 60% of you is a uh, rekindle, like a no contact situation. And then 40% of you is like, this person wants to take it to the next level. And they want to make sure that they are making the right decision for themselves and for you as well, because they don't want to, this person doesn't want to go back and forth with their decision. They want to be sure about you. And they want you to be sure about them. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Yeah, we have justice. Yeah, they want to make the right decision. They feel like you're somebody who has high integrity, that you deserve the best that life has to offer, okay? You could have Libra in your chart. Yeah, like high integrity, okay? You're very fair in your dealings. That's how they feel about you. You're just. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Yeah, we have the full card. Yeah, this person wants to take a leap of faith towards you, especially if it's like rekindling this connection. They want to take a leap of faith. They want to actually make the effort to make this relationship work because they feel like you are definitely worth it. Like I said, high value with the justice card. Okay, you don't have to be a Libran, but you could have Libra in your chart or something like that. But like I'm getting like it doesn't really matter. It's just more about like doing the right thing. And they feel like you are definitely worthy of, you know, their time, their energy. I feel like this person may have like a lot of money. They could be financially stable. They could come from a wealthy family. They could be well known in their community. If this person's not from the same background as you, they could be well known in their community. So whoever they chose like to, as a partner is going to be very crucial for them. So they want to make sure that they're choosing the right person, but they see it forever with you. The person on your mind, what do we have here? Ooh, they came out in reverse, seven of cups. I'm telling you, they're sure about you. There's no confusion here with the seven of cups in reverse. Cause when I flipped it over, um, it was already in reverse and I just flipped it upright. Yeah, guys, this person's sure about you. They feel like you're the one. Cause seven of cups is like having all multiple options. Seven of cups in reverse is like choosing an option, making a decision. Because when it's upright, it's like you, you don't know what decision to make. You have so many choices, so many options and you're confused. But now this person is not confused about you. That's why they're coming back or they want to move the uh, connection to the next level with you. 
it's up to you if you want to take this person back but they're definitely coming back yeah the knight of wands they're very excited okay very passionate about you that's how they feel they're very passionate about you they're very um enthusiastic with the page of wands as well yeah this person could be because they come up as, as the king of swords and the knight of wands and knight of swords this person could have like maybe in the past they had a tendency to be flighty or inconsistent in their approach to you that could have been the reason why you guys went in no contact because maybe you got tired of that with the knight of wands but this person wants to come back in with some sort of like offer the person on your mind how do they feel about you didn't i say we have the queen of pentacles this person views you as the queen of pentacles they feel like you're worth the investment the queen of pentacles is a wife the queen of pentacles is someone that you could build a solid foundation with okay so whether you are a woman or a man you have wifey husband um qualities to you you're dedicated you are nurturing you are you know like somebody who is very you're like you're dedicated to your cause you're dedicated to your family but you're also independent you're very talented at keeping a home maintaining a home okay yeah we have the three of pentacles they want to invest in you because three of pentacles is collaboration investing working together and that's what they want that's how they feel about you like you're worth it the person on your mind how do they feel about you just one card yeah we have the sun the leo energy they feel like you're somebody who's very confident okay very powerful we have the hair font i'm telling you this person is looking for a union marriage that's how they feel about you the person on your mind how do they feel about you we have the three of wands yeah they're making plans to come towards you with the three of wands that's investment as well it's like taking action towards your goals because the two of wands is like planning but the three of wands is the execution executing your plan so the person on your mind how do they feel about you guys that's the two cups that just fell on the floor i'm going to pick it up yeah they feel like you would make a great partner that's why they want to rekindle this connection two of cups guys i can't make it up rekindle or make it take it to the next level take it how it resonates to your situation you know it best the person on your mind yes three of pentacles they want to come back they want to work it out especially if you guys are in no contact they want to work it out wow they want to three of pentacles is here twice they know you're worth it like they don't want to lose you this person's kind of nervous that they might lose you because we have the eight of swords as the second card that came out there's a lot of anxiety here this person is extremely passionate about you because we have the ace of wands as the first card that came out so there's a lot of passion there's a lot of enthusiasm there's a lot of like you know like there is attraction here this person is very physically attracted to you but they're also passionate about you and they're like there is love here because we have the two of cups okay the person on your mind how do they feel about you wow we have the three of cups and we have they want to reconcile guys yeah that's why i was getting like the reconciliation rekindle they want to reconcile i'm getting like heavy no contact for a lot of you like i said earlier yeah, they feel like it's a spiritual union. That's how they feel about you with the high priestess. This person feels like they could feel your energy. when, Even if you guys are apart, they could feel you. <clears throat> yeah, somebody just don't want to talk. They could feel you. Your energy. They could feel like your presence at a distance. Like the more I heard like the absence make the heart grow fonder. The more like you're distant from this person. The more like, you know, you guys are... At a distance from each other the more and more this person's energy this the, the more and more their love for you grows and they can't stay away from you for too long they really want to reconcile with you the person on your mind how do they feel about you yeah two of wands they're contemplating i'm telling you they're gonna take action towards you yeah they definitely feel like you're the star they want to heal this connection with you they don't want to let you go they're not they're not done with you 
like especially if you guys are at no contact or minimal contact because some of you could like i said you could be in a connection with this person and you guys are not you know you not at a distance from each other but maybe the connection is not moving along fast and you feel like okay this person is not interested in me or they don't want to be with me but it's not even that this person is like you know making a decision about you and like right now they're just nervous to come towards you because it's like okay this is the one i hope they feel the same way about me like this person's also like wondering if you feel the same way but in their heart their soul with the two cups they feel like you you feel the same way about them that's why they're going to come towards you with this offer they want to renew this connection okay the person on your mind how do they feel about you attraction keep an open mind guys i'm telling you didn't i say attraction it says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully they are very attracted to you not just physically but spiritually as well because we have the high priestess and we have keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation and i'm getting with this energy is that you guys could be from two different backgrounds okay this person could be white and you could be black or vice versa or they could just be asian and you are african or the you they're european and you're asian or whatever it is or south american or caribbean but there is a difference in culture here with keep an open mind okay this is what i'm getting from this person and you there's a big difference so that could be another reason why this person was like maybe hesitant because they're like okay we're from two different cultures we're from two different backgrounds okay there's one thing with like you know a caribbean person dating another islander okay that's not a big difference because islanders we have similarities in our culture but like you guys it's like a big difference it's like you know an islander dating an asian person where the culture is totally different and same thing as like you know an african dating a european the culture is different okay so this is what i'm getting here and this person that could have been like another reason why they were kind of like hesitant because of the culture difference and they were kind of worried that they might not work out but they didn't let this like minor thing stop them from coming towards you or making a decision about you the person on your mind how do they feel about you guys i can't make it up you guys see me i'm shuffling in front of the camera so that way you guys could see my hands reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life i'm telling you uh the nice say rekindling no contact i'm telling you i knew it i sensed it i was like nah it has to be like even the cards are saying this is like yeah i feel like the no contact situation was not because you guys had a fight it was like a, a moment where this person had to think is this what i really want not because you're not worthy of this person they the reason why they're choosing you is because you are worthy like you know how like every relationship you have to think about long term and this is what this person's doing they're thinking long term like i want to be with a long-term partner regardless of their background and this is what this person is taking that leap of faith towards because we have the full card this person is taking a leap of faith towards you regardless of the fact that they're scared like they're scared because it's like if it's the same culture as you you know what to expect like you know that this person was raised similarly to you because of the culture but when it's like different you don't know if this this person has the same values and stuff like that and how is it going to work and also you have to think about like you know if this person's thinking long term they have to think about okay marriage family in-laws children how are we going to raise our children are we going to like you know what i mean like this person's thinking about all these things and they feel like you are worth the risk of like going forward okay this is what i'm getting here the person on your mind how do they feel about you how do they feel about you I just saw make the effort they wanted to come out it says release your ex the time has come to clear your energy so maybe they are they were also releasing an ex or releasing like a past person that was still lingering or wanted to rekindle things with them they're releasing something or someone I feel like it's mostly someone that they're releasing that ex energy that me may, maybe the ex is the same background as them and they're making a choice because we have the seven of cups in reverse so they definitely made a choice and they choose you 
okay so that's all i have for you my pal number three i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number three bye